reserved just for me. I'm excited about its destination, as I've heard it sets you free. The trials and tribulations, the pain and stress we breathe, don't exist where I am going. Only happiness, I believe. I hope that you will be there to wish me on my way. It's not a journey you can join in. It's not your time today. There will be many destinations. Some are happy, some are sad. Each one a brief reminder of the great times that we've had. Many friends I know are waiting who took an earlier train to greet and reassure me that nothing has really changed. We'll take the time together to catch up on the past, to build a new beginning, one that will always last. One day you'll take your journey on the train just like me, and I promise that I'll be there at the station and you'll see. That life is just a journey enriched by those you meet. No one can take that from you. It's always yours to keep. But now as no seat is vacant, you will have to muddle through. Make sure you fulfill your ambitions as you know I'll be watching you. And if there is an occasion to mention who you knew, speak kindly of that person as one day it will be you. Now I can't expect, accept this ending as it's time for me to leave. Um, just one thing I'd like to add. The last time I remember when I was with Kuka and I was with my daughter, who is Kuga's uh, great-granddaughter, and I remember, I don't want to do a disservice to my ethnic language, so I'll just translate what he said in English. So he told me, Chorobon, always remember to put God first and do not take anything that you have for granted because all that I have and all that you will gain, always remember that this is achieved by the grace of God. And Kuga always said, never put your reliance in human beings, as human beings will always disappoint. But always remember that you have a friend in God. Thank you.